Did you bring your binoculars? Yeah, I bought them. Dad, oh, it's the spy eyes. It's the spy eyes. Oh! 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 No, 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 Wait a minute, guys. How do we know that somebody didn't already follow this map and make off with whatever was buried there? Yeah, yeah, he's probably right. Come on, guys, let's go. Let's get back here. They might have, but I never heard of anybody finding more stuff than what's already in the museum. Anyway, to grown-ups, this is already worth enough. Some archaeologist ecologist finds a map that's a bunch of hundred years old, throws a frame around it, and calls it art. Look at this. What? It's just like a Mad Magazine folded. What? See, look, one half, two half, together makes a hole. This is a lighthouse here, where, where the rocks, the rock? and, then the, and then the restaurant, X. which is right above the X. X marks the spot. Uh, well, wait a minute, guys. How are we going to dig for this stuff? Go up and knock on the door and say, hello, do you mind if we dig up your floor? No, nah, of course not. The, the place is obviously open for business. We can just go in. Think like we're gonna get something to eat, yeah. and then join the case. What? Yeah, let's go. He made case to join this case. Yeah. Okay. They're not so strange. Yeah. I used to have a snake with two heads. Yeah. yeah. We also had this other friend, Joey. Yeah. He's got this big hairy thing going out of his neck. <laughs> yeah, and everybody always makes fun of it. So he only goes out to play at night. But you only like to go out to play at night, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys! Hey, guys! Stop it now! What? Come on! I said stop it! Stop what? I'm not doing anything. Don't play dumb. Ugh. I said stop it! What are you hitting me for? I swear to mouth. I mean, who do you think you are anyway? What? 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 Ah! Ah! we talked we talked about uh my buddy toby hooper poltergeist some of the rumors swirling around that movie we also talked a little bit about your old boss dick donner and the hilarious story about amblin vacating the offices at warner brothers and yes joel i'll stab myself in the back for that script silver mm -hmm. the producer who loved to i thought walked a lot in his pajamas they were probably stylish I don't know. He probably paid well. They were thousands. silk, whatever they were. Yeah, he paid thousands of dollars, but it looked like he was in his pajamas. Like he just got out of bed and walked right into the waiting limo. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, probably did. Uh, I have some funny conversations with Silver though, but I'm not going to get into that here. We had a, but it was fun to kind of flash back to that moment in time at Warner Brothers. We Harry Potter just got into production, which you worked on. You were the post production supervisor, mm -hmm. but we were also talking about Donner's involvement with the Goonies. And the thing I wanted to ask you that I skipped over last time because, you know, you're in the middle of producing stuff and you're busy was um, the thing I wanted to ask you last time was the script. When you saw the script and how different the script for the Goonies had changed from script form to the final cut. Well, I think, uh, first of all, I think Dick stripped away a lot of the, the unnecessary stuff. I mean, you know, there was a lot more going on in the script and it was um 
you know, there was a, a Goonie oath and things like that. And Dick wanted to move the action along. Um, and as you know, the octopus scene was cut. Mm. Um, uh, they did shoot that. Uh, there were a couple of other things they shot. One of the thing, uh, subplots that didn't make it involved gorillas. Um, uh, two gorillas that escaped from a zoo, courtesy of the of the kids. And um, uh, Stephen wanted it, but Dick didn't. So Dick said, if you want it, you know, Spielberg, you shoot it. And uh, and we did shoot a little bit on location in Astoria, but it never made it past Astoria. So um, uh, that stuff was uh, never made it into the final final cut. What stage were you guys on for this? Was that what stage was the, for the ship? Was that thirteen or twelve? No, uh, the ship was sixteen. Stage sixteen. And then stage fifteen was a combination of the wishing well, the log over the little waterfall, the organ chamber. And the water slide, which which flowed down into the wishing well, mm-hmm. so it's kind of a round robin thing. And then we shot on nineteen and nineteen A as well. What was on nineteen? Nineteen, I think, was the interior of the lighthouse lounge, ah. uh, and maybe the basement. And then nineteen A um, was the attic, um, where the kids uh, find the the map. You know, you just reminded me, you know, Robert Davi would come into Milius' office quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And when he showed up, he would bring like Italian sausage, cheeses and wine. Like he would show up to the meeting with a picnic (laughs) basket. Was he like that on the set of Goonies too? Oh, oh, Robert was great. I mean, he was, he was, he was such a uh, a, a sweet guy. Uh, uh, His, the only time he kind of showed a little more frustration or whatever was with Joey Pantoliano because they were they were professional and I think in some ways personal rivals as well. Your road to redemption is paved with tombstones. No quarter, kill all masters. Go to no quarter, kill all masters.com. Read it R. 